this is what we're here for. It's yeah. the LTO podcast. Yeah. Jo, 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 Jo. Ha, ha, ha. I've just been here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Let's go. Samsung Lifestyle. We out here chilling. Design quarter. You know what it is. Let me plug you. Let me put you on. This festive season, head over to Samsung Eastgate. Samsung Clearwater. If you want to get some fresh appliances, they got you. If you want your lifestyle fine, they got you. You know what it is. We out, baby. Is it true the person on the video which was Prince KB? Yes, it was. So if that was Prince KP, he took the video. Yeah. And then how did the video get on social media? Like when I'm sitting here, yeah. where Nest C was sitting, Casper, yeah. yeah. does it mean I'm famous? <laughs> I, I think you're famous. You do. Yes, you I do. You don't think I'm famous. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think you're I famous. mean, it's just really hard to believe. Bear with me. Like, I'm yeah. just like, uh, but anyways, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I am good. Are you I'm good for good, real? Thank you. Yeah, I'm blessed. Like, for someone that's watching here that's never heard your name, that's never seen you, because um, we usually have, like, people who are, like, artists yeah. or people that's an actor and whatever. Mm -hmm. So your, your one is, like, a different kind of scenario where maybe people might not pin it to one specific thing. Mm -hmm. So I just specifically want to know, like, what made you a public figure when you, you, people start knowing your name? Okay. So uh, I was really a YouTube girl in the beginning. I didn't start with Instagram mm -hmm. or Twitter. Like, I didn't have any of that. So mm -hmm. I was really into, like, beauty. Mm -hmm. But I was just also dating this dumb fuck, you know, and we had a YouTube channel together. And that is absolutely the worst regret of my life. But it grew me. I don't want to lie. Mm -hmm. I want to give him that like one percent credit. Like you, you, you tried. You can take it up to fifty. No ways. But mm -hmm. it it was it was intentionally supposed to be the end of me. Why do you mean the end of me? Like how we got off. I'm sure the question is like. How did I become a public figure? So yeah. I'm saying it's through YouTube and I had a YouTube channel yeah. with someone and we were creating content mm -hmm. like a lot of times. So he did contribute. I'm, I'm still going to say 1% because he, for us to officially trend and people would see that couple that was like always doing everything together mm -hmm. and now they broke off. Yeah, it was because of him. When Simon Bougie is just looking for a male, like, to say, no, I want this guy to be my boyfriend, what kind of attributes are you looking for in a guy? Thank you for saying that. Yeah. So you are saying that I must say for any other guy, not him, right? Because I don't want us to focus on him. He's going to feel Special. himself. Okay, bro. cool. You, yeah, for any other guy. That knows him. You are, uh, <laughs> okay. We okay. forgot about him. Okay. Please. Yeah, it's what, what attributes does Simon Bougie look for in a guy? Okay, I'm just going to go back to this one and say he was absolutely not even close to being my type. I was young, okay. you know, you understand? But right now, like a guy that's, okay, firstly, a guy that is God-fearing. Please don't come for me. I know. <laughs> Yo, first of all, let me put a disclaimer out. I'm... I'm I'm closer to God than I've ever been in my See life. See how much Wait, I'm a fan I'm a, of a fan I am. Of of the show. Exactly. Oh yeah, you actually know this. I know. <laughs> no, you don't like that. <laughs> All the girls, yo, if you ever watch Date My Family once in your life, you've heard every woman say, I want a God fearing man. Like is this a prerequisite for females just to say? It's like a CV. Like they have to write God fearing men. Like that's cap. Like, I, and, and I'm, I'm a God-fearing man. I'm just saying, females just say this. Why? why okay, why do you want a God-fearing man? Someone that believes in prayer. Like, we can build also through Christ. Like, I'm really a, a believer in Christ. Like, me especially too. me, because I'm a pastor's kid also. Like, yeah. and I, you know, my parents couldn't put it, like, straight up that I can date, but they really wanted someone who's also, like, god oriented. So me, it's because of my background and what I believe in. But I mean, you can't be dating a single woman and then we na we are cooking every Sunday. Oh man, like it depends a line. You can't be believing in anything else. Just know there's a higher power at least, even if you're not really into God. You just know I that you. you understand. And I don't want people to get misconstrued. 
like I said, I'm closer to God than I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I literally go to church every Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like this is just started this year though. Um, what church though? What church? Mm-hmm. Uh, Rivers. Okay. Yeah. But, and I go to like home sales um, on Tuesdays. What? Shout That's out dope. to Cabello. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like this is, it's been like, I, I just think like in life, we all need to be closer to God. We all need to, and I'm glad, like, it took a tragedy for me, like one of my homies passing away for me to get to that point. But I'm glad that I got to the point where mm. I just like found God, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it's not That's about you. me. Let's just move on. Uh-huh. For me, you said God fearing man. Yeah. Okay. But I'm giving you a tick also on my side. Okay. Yeah. So okay. <laughs> one one day. <laughs> okay, cool. God fearing man, yeah? Um, like someone that really has a vision for their life. Okay. You don't know where you're going. Like mm-hmm. I'm not saying like you have to have everything in life. Mm-hmm. I feel like if I genuinely love a person, like I won't really expect anything like financially. But at least just show that like you're really pushing. Yeah, but carry on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I've heard you. <laughs> I did my research. I've heard you and other. I mean, places. you've heard me, but like yeah. uh, someone, changed? someone changes sometimes. So, are you saying CM Bougie is not looking for girlfriend allowance no more? Is that what you're saying? Let's be a hundred. Let's be honest. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Not that I'm not looking for it anymore, but like, if you want to give me, you can. Okay. And if you can't, it's okay because I'm making my own stacks for real. Why Why have you come to this conclusion? What happened? Um, it's very interesting to hear that from you. Well, I've come to the conclusion because I feel like if you're there for money, you won't really be getting affection like that. No reassurance. But if you are there like because you see a vision with this person and you have so much hope and you just love them for them, ah. Uh, Money doesn't matter, my boy. We can just stay with 50 Rand and just be together. Yo, like, does, a, does a podcast just make people wholesome? Like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm hearing this from this girl. I like, swear. For, for real. I swear. It's not There's worth it. There's something in the spirit when it comes to this podcast. Like, I feel like yeah? I have gotten all the money in the world. Yeah. But I was still, I still had a, a missing piece. Mm-hmm. It's not genuine. At all. Yeah. I don't want to lie. You are over-controlled. You're not happy. You're just flexing with fucking designers. So now that I, I can get them myself, like, thank you guys for the time, but I'm good. Like, I'm into commitment. Listen, like, <laughs> what, what you're saying, like, um, it's, like, actually really important because, like, um, unfortunately, the young ladies, right, um, mm. you don't choose to be a role model. But unfortunately, like, young ladies looking at you on Instagram immediately want to be like you. But yeah. So what they see is um, designers, they see all the other things, but they never get to, obviously Instagram shows you a highlight of everyone being happy and everything. Yeah. I think it's also important to let all the young ladies growing up know the other side of everything. You, you just spoken about being over controlled, right? Yeah. Um, are there other things like maybe a message you can send? You don't even have to look like, please look at the camera. <laughs> Like uh-huh. to the young ladies watching, look at this camera, and and actually let them know the other side. Yes, you you get the Gucci bags, you get the trips, but those are like obviously the intangibles they will be happy about. But what is the other side? Like that wouldn't make you happy. I don't want to say the other side, yeah? but I really just genuinely feel like every single woman should let a guy come in your life and just top it up. Like you should just automatically be independent by yourself. And I know it didn't start like that for me. And it was almost like I'm just in any kind of relationship for money, but there's just so many consequences. I mean, you can choose, baby. It's your life. What are these consequences? (laughs) Like you, you, you genuinely like someone's remote. Like if they press one, like you must, I can leave everything, mm. family, friends, social media. If they say delete your account, you're going to delete your account. So if a guy is just giving you all the money in exchange of him just like, you know, getting access to you or touching you. Mm. Yeah, it comes with a lot. <laughs> it comes with a lot. Mm-hmm. And I'm good with that. Wow. Yeah, I'm good. I can't believe that I'm hearing that. <laughs> I am genuinely yeah. good. You know, and yeah. I would be with anyone 
for the fact that I love them and I see a vision with them. And I don't think my perspective will ever change. I've had that phase. It's a phase. It's not real life. It's a phase. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe for other people, it's real life. Some people don't even mind. But I'm I'm good. I'm good. Really? That's so, I am good. That is so refreshing to hear that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't think I would hear that from you. Yeah. Like, personally, with everything that I've seen. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that that is dope. Okay, so uh, when I spoke to you, talking about drama, when I spoke to you, you said you've been involved in a whole lot of drama. A whole so lot of drama. Is this the drama that's making you think like this? That's changed your mindset? Um, I, I, It's not the drama. It's just me personally. I got to that stage in life where I was like, okay, do I want to continue living like this? And I was like, you know what? The best thing I can do right now is so I can change, right? Because I really feel like I didn't need therapy and any of that shit. Like, I I, I don't see... I, I'm someone that doesn't believe in that. So... You don't believe in therapy? Nah, okay. I don't at all. I'm uh, nev- I've never tried it, actually. Okay. So I think what really changed my perspective of everything, life, all in all, is, like I said, and I was like, the best thing I can do right now is decide to do everything that I could do in front of my parents, in front of the public. If I can't swear or smoke in front of my my, my parents, I'm not going to do it in the public. Mm. If I cannot sit down and have a conversation with my dad and say, oh my gosh, I'm in a relationship with someone that gives me like 70,000 every fucking time, but he cheats on me and all. If if I can't do that with them, Mm. I don't want to do it at all because Mm. then that's fake. Like I feel like that's not living the best life. Like, yeah, I wasn't happy, so... Since I started doing that, things have been really good. <laughs> so life is good right now? Yeah, life is super good. I'm so glad to hear this. Like, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely yeah. good. Like my my perspective has changed, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for the good. But I'm still ghetto. Like, don't come for me. Anyone that comes for me, I might react the same way. But besides that, I'm yeah, good. I heard, it, I heard that about you. Like, you like fighting. <laughs> No, I don't like fighting, but I feel like a lot of girls like to poke me. And, okay, it depends, though, ne? Let me yeah. tell you the trick, ne? Yeah. Um, For me, to not be known as, like, the girl that's really almost always, always, always into fights with friends, because I'm yeah. re- never really always uh, into fights with friends like that. But whenever I ever, I think it's better if it's someone I can benefit from. Like, if you are doing just this great, I can't just let a... Uh, Someone that wants to just gain cloud from me to get the cloud. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can fight, but it can be with someone on my level. <laughs> <laughs> level in terms of what? Yeah, I don't just fight with anyone because some people would want to fight with you intentionally so they can get that side of you. And now it can happen all the time. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm not a fighter, but I can fight. So you fought with a couple of girls in the industry that really? got cloud. Because you're talking about you only fight with girls that got clout. Yeah. Um, have you managed to resolve these issues? I heard you had a fight with Sima. Oh, so El Tito knows Sima. Please say no for me. Please say no for me. I'm not getting involved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not it's getting involved. It's okay. I told you I did my research. So <laughs> I'm not getting involved. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I'm not beefing with Sima. Sima, much love if you're watching this. <laughs> Take it back. Oh my God. <laughs> what is the issue? You so you clearly still have beef with this girl. You still have beef. Love. Okay, it's That's like, a bit too personal. Just say hi, Shap. I know you Shap. Okay, hi, Sipa. Shap. Shap. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. So you clearly haven't sort of your beef out with Sipa. Um no. Why? Um, do I even want to talk about her? It's up to you. No, nah, I why? don't want to. I okay. feel like I don't want to talk about her. Okay. Yeah. And then... Um, but I did beat her up, though. And that's the part that didn't trend. And it pisses me off. Because everyone has trended. Uh, the have made, like, all the screenshots trend and all, the, like, the dumb things and mm-hmm. us fighting, like, we were a bit emotional, mm-hmm. but they could have posted, like, the physical fight because they posted the emotional one. So someone took footage of this physical fight? I don't know, but I saw on TikTok, like, Surge, they were, like, fighting at the mall and we were actually at the mall. So why did you beat her? Why are you beating her, like, beating her arm? Um, because I think she really, really deserved it and I think she really celebrated 
my biggest downfall I've ever had and made life and made it like a real thing. So what I is your biggest downfall you've ever had? My sex tape. She went live and she was literally deliberating. It's like, my God is good. Why are you involving God in this bitch? The fuck? Like, you don't have to. Why, what does this have anything to do with God? Sure. She celebrated your sex tape. Yeah. And she said God is good. Yeah. Her ancestors are working or something like that. So I had to just, just once. Mm-hmm. Lord, forgive me just once, but I don't regret it. Okay. I, I, on this El Tito podcast, we do not, <laughs> we do not support violence. Um, but, but sometimes it's, violence is not bad, Shem, honestly. Sometimes. It is bad. It's not necessary. No, sometimes. Because people can hear with an ear. They need like, you know, some bit of skin. Just to show that, you know what, baby, you can't, you can't fuck with me like that. Like, do it, but with other people. Okay, you're talking about, like, you beat her up because she was happy about your sex tape. Yeah, okay. and we were best friends. So, like, obviously you have a sex tape that's out that people are talking about. Have you seen it? I mean, for research purposes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for... <laughs> like, all the seconds... Of it. How many seconds is it? I don't know. Yeah. You for, an investigator. I'm not an investigator. I'm, <laughs> I'm a broadcaster. Mm. Um, you know? Um, um so yeah, I saw it on the internet. I have to do my research. So it's still there. Which which app did you see it on? Because funny enough, I've never actually seen it. You haven't seen your sex tape? Well, I mean I've seen it on WhatsApp because my manager sent me, you yeah. know, but on a random platform when I'm scrolling down that. I saw it on uh, WhatsApp too. Uh, this guy that works for the podcast, Pange. It wasn't Casper? Pange sent it to me. It wasn't Casper? That's or like... me. No, it unfortunately <laughs> was Pange. He sent me the sex tape. That's how I saw it. So do you think they might not know about it? Like Who? Casper and SCC and like MT? Yeah, I don't think they know about it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just this guy. He looks like Henry Tali. Like oh. the, the guy that works for our podcast, Pange, he sent me the thing. He's like, yo, since you're interviewing her, have you seen this? Because I'm actually not on social media like okay, that. Okay, okay. Okay, so she was celebrating your sex tape and you beat her up. Yeah. Also, also, yeah. now that you're saying you're not on social media, I also like guys that are not active like that. Hey, we can't be both content creators, like, honestly. So okay. I'm also into guys that are more into business and not, like, phones and, yeah. Internet, pictures, trip. Nah, you like, know do it, but not every day. But be consistent, yeah. Denzo, I told you. <laughs> this, is, this is like posing like a model. Niggas posing like a model on, on social media. Yeah. I'm, I'm hardly on social media, but I'll go there when I have to post my work, obviously. So, okay, okay cool. So, you you beat her up because she's celebrating your sex tape. Mm, but not How? beat her up. Like, beat her up just sounds like, po, 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 go, po, go, go. Yeah. So, uh, what is it? Like, describe it then, if it's not like. Like, fail. Like that, that, one, that so that's not beating up. Okay, cool. Okay, that's cool. that's just like, yeah. Past. What? Why did you ask me if I saw the sex tape? I just want to know. Oh, do, okay. Do... <laughs> do you want? Do you want me give me a review of like? You why can. You yeah, rather not. So like, <laughs> should I? I don't know, but <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, if you want me to, I can. Do it's okay, El Tito. No, I can. Okay, let me give a review since we added it. Okay. Okay. First question: Why don't you shave? Um. First question: How old did I look on the video? I didn't. Um, you didn't, I didn't focus know. on the face. No, I was just not focused at all. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't shave because yeah. I was young yeah. and I didn't know like much about you know all that shit. Okay. And <clears throat> when you say you were young, how old were you? I was. How old was I? I was definitely doing my first year. So uh, 19. Maybe, yeah, maybe 20. Okay. 20. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was young. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about it now. Is it true the person on the video which was Prince KB? Yes, it was. So if that was Prince KB, he took the video. 
Yeah. And then how did the video get on social media? I don't know, man. I don't know. I, you know, I think... So you and Prince KB were dating? No, fuck no. We were not dating. So why were you having sex with him? Um, I had sex with him because he DM'd me and I was single. And I just wanted to get smashed and it happened so quickly. And let me tell you actually why I didn't shave. She's Wait, let me tell you why I didn't shave. I didn't shave because yes, like I grew up, you know, with um without knowing like really like a lot about girl things, to be honest. Now about? we girl things. Girl things we just yeah. use roll on, we go to do whatever. Like it, it was a thing. Also okay. under my armpits, like I used to have that. And you used to have what on your armpits? Mirir. Okay. So um also another reason though mm. is that because I was like in a committed relationship at some point like we stopped dating again and I was single and I think when I was in a relationship with him yes that's when I used to shave and then I wasn't dating and then he just called me quickly Prince KB it happened so quick like two minutes like hey where are you Kaya fast the pa 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 go on <laughs> well, I understand yeah yeah, yeah. so maybe yeah. you know I could have shaved for him I could yeah. have went an extra mile mm-hmm. But yeah, yo, when I got there, like it was my first time being with a celebrity, just by the way, mm-hmm. ever in my life. Mm-hmm. Seeing a blue tick in my DMs, but when you gone, mm-hmm. I went very mm-hmm. quickly. And uh I think I wasn't a brand when he took that video. I wasn't someone valuable. I didn't think of my future. Mm-hmm. I was just a broken girl. I mm-hmm. went out of a very serious relationship, but it was very serious. Mm-hmm. And um, he was also famous. Like he, he, he just showed me like all the videos he took with other girls, and that I should be comfortable. And huh? that he showed you videos he took with other girls. Yeah, he had. A, he has a lot of videos. When you mean videos, what do you talking with about? other girls? Like sex tapes with other yeah. girls. Yeah. So it's a thing for him. Yeah. So yeah, he just made because in the beginning I was like, no, we can't take a video. So that's when we decided to, you know, it's a video veil. Yeah. He was saying it's the first time he saw a girl squirt. Yeah. And don't girls squirt? Like, it, they do. They do. Mm-hmm. Also, maybe he just meets the wrong ones because he went super crazy. He just quickly wanted to take a video of us. Like, mm-hmm. he was crazy over that mm-hmm. situation, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I had every nigga you can think of in my DMs after they saw that video. Which niggas? Like, very rich. Really? Uh, but I got a lot of attention after that. And I really thought it was going to be the opposite. Mm-hmm. But also, like, I was like, I didn't think a, a well-known celebrity would actually need to put out a video of me for him to stay relevant. Like, he needed me to be where he is. Because he was down as hell, bro. He was going and we were digging. So he needed me. And look at where he is now. Ways. I mean, at least he's getting gigs here and there. Something like once in a month. I say I could get No, Obviously, for real. Okay. But I, I, I had so many. Un- I have so many questions. I had so many questions because we were really on good terms. Like I didn't expect this, and I still didn't get any answers. So, but it makes it made sense after the whole thing. Yeah, I felt bad for you. I'm not gonna lie. When that situation happened. Why didn't you DM me and come cuddle with me? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I didn't shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, my man, I can show you, honey. It is smooth as hell. <laughs> I, <laughs> I do feel bad. <laughs> For real. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so obviously that situation happens. When you see it trending online, how are you feeling at that time? What is happening in your mind? Oh, my manager was like, Sian, we have to put a statement. And Which manager? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Look at it was, this. Cause, cause, but also, <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't see it myself. He saw it because I, I don't check any of my things on social media for my mental health because people say a lot. Mm-hmm. So, But he does it and my best friend uh, does it most of the time and he just showed me. And, you know, like, he really tried to calm me down because I was with him on the call and I was alone by my place. Um, nobody had seen it yet, but me and him saw it. And 
he just wanted to put out a statement. And I was like, I am going to be very unapologetic right now. I didn't do any of this shit. Everyone is just trying to break me down in any way possible. And I'm going to not let it be like that. I'm going to tell you that, you know what? It's a fee to find out if I shave or not. Right now, I can't be commenting on anything else. And I didn't. But I had so many questions. I was like, why? No, to to, to print. Because after that time we were together, we we still had a friendship, I guess. Like, he really, really wanted to see me again because, of course, it's me. But I I, I wasn't really, you know, interested, Mm -hmm. to be honest, because he made me uncomfortable. And I I didn't want to see him again anymore. And... Yeah, he also tried to, like, make me promote his cheap-ass wine. And I charged, I charged him, like, 3000 And he couldn't afford 3000 And we fought over that. But I still thought maybe we're still on good terms. So now you think he did it intentionally. But I was like, I'm not going to show him the emotional side of me. I am not. But I'm still going to make it clear it's him. So that people don't think it's a random guy from Gas. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's Turkey and so yeah, that's what happened. And then I think the best thing is that I was really in a good relationship with someone that was so vibey and funny. Like he made me forget up. I think he was there for that reason, Shem, in my life. Like he really helped me get through it. Like he was just laughing it out. Or yo, I see the comments, but babe, do they know who you are now? Do they see you? You know, mm-hmm. I wish everyone could see. So just move on from it. And I was crying myself to sleep and I didn't want to go to gigs because I had anxiety. But when I got there, everyone was screaming my name. I thought people would be like, mm-hmm. I thought so, but I had fans all of a sudden. like, And I had everyone book me. I mean, everyone. Like, we are fully booked until February. Damn. Over... Someone that wanted to probably destroy me. Mm. Yeah, and I'm, I'm grateful. I had so many questions. I wanted to do the worst kind of things. I wanted to go live, be drunk. But I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to react differently this time based on my perspective of life right now, what I want for myself. I'm going to move on. And I did. Like, I thought it was not going to be possible, but Jim, I, I did. Mm. Yeah. I'll give you that. You are strong. Mm -hmm. Like, with all these adversities that you've been through, you're still standing tall. You're Mm -hmm. still here. Yeah. But for me, like, before we had, like, we started, we pressed record here. We were speaking about, like, obviously all of this, like, sex tape things and your name being out there. It's brought you a lot of followers. It's made you famous. But it's affecting you on the other side Mm -hmm. in terms of, like, brands, right? You know how we coming with the sneakers. It's not just the Air Force One. It's not the Air Supreme on the Air Force One. You see what we doing with the with the pants, Alpha Industries. You see what we doing with the jacket, Alpha Industries. The topic is we got the hottest podcast. We're bringing you the hottest guest. Yeah. I think it's just that one side that's lacking. I think every other side, like my career right now, like it's not as lacking. But when it comes to like um, big deals, like working with like big brands. I also want to encourage like the young people watching. I want to get it inside the industry and um, make a name for themselves to Mm -hmm. say, look, you getting clout from. Because some some people might get it misconstrued. Do you, you think know? some people actually think the cloud I get is intentional? Like, I want to get it, so I'm famous? Unfortunately, um, if people don't have a one-on-one, that's why uh, conversations like this are important, to actually find out what's in your head. Yeah. if I don't speak to you, I can come up to my own conclusions. People might think you actually deliberately linked the sex, uh, the sex tape that you did so, so you can become famous on wow. some Kim Kardashian thing. Okay. So right. I, I, I think it's also important that we have these type of conversations because I'm not the one to judge people mm. to say, oh... The sex tape is out. She leaked it. Yeah. Now she's famous. Now she's famous. Mm. So I I, I, I would literally want to sit down and speak to you and think like, okay, what was going on in this situation? How did this happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And more mm. than anything, I just do not want people thinking this is the way to go. Yeah. As, it's, as, it's definitely like, not. Like just become famous by leaking your sex tape. Nah. I, I, I'm a person, I'm old school. I still believe in hard work pays off and mm-hmm. everything that you do. Mm-hmm. And um, the people obviously might be based on your your brand and Instagram, they might be seeing the high numbers and saying, this is the way to go. 
Um, no, okay. For the young girls, probably just watching because they never get to hear um, Sian like 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 talk about like Sian. Sian, damn it! I'm gonna <laughs> struggle the whole night. That's how he told me in the beginning. Sian, okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. Would you like 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 what do you have to say to the young girls that are watching this? Mm. Before the advice, I really just wanna put it out that like. I've never at any point wanted any of my scenes to be on social media. I've always come back to stand up for myself. And usually it was in a bad way to go live, screaming, crying, sometimes just hit people up, you know, in person and like really fight you because I'm fed up. Like I really think my biggest fear right now, so crazy enough, is being attached to someone like that so they know all my information and they get to link it. Like, I'm really not as close with people based on, like, my past experience. Mm -hmm. And I really, really had a perspective of myself of being a social media influencer, but I really never thought I would get here. But I see that, like, all the scenes I've been through, like, got me here, and I'm not proud of them. I'm actually not. Um, I mean, I've developed a very unapologetic personality, but that doesn't mean like I want, I wanted people to know me because of all that. I, I, I never wanted to be famous because of my sex hate, because of all the other shit that anyone has ever said about me. I've always come back to stand up for myself. And yeah, I just feel like it's definitely not the way to go if anyone has that perspective of life that is absolutely crazy because it's just going to fuck up with your mental health. I don't even imagine anyone just doing stunts all the time to be famous. Like, I, I don't think it could be a lifestyle for myself, so I don't think it would also be good for any lady that's looking up to me to see life like that. I want people to uh, build empires. I want people to build salons. I'm a beauty. You know, more than anything, I love beauty. I love looking good. I love smelling good i love like creating content with my makeup and if anyone looks up to me they should go that way and not the other way of having drama not the other way of trusting anyone because my issue is trust i've only trended because i've trusted everyone and they've taken out everything um so, so are you not taking accountability i am going to sit down and look at you in the eye and say i have not at any point planned on trending confidently so okay. people are just i'm sorry you know i don't have an ego but they're obsessed so like tell me like when you were back in my where you grew up did you envision this would be the life that you would have right now not even 20 percent of it what did you think you thought you would be a nurse like what what was the life that you envisioned for yourself and I really, really still have that vision for my life. Um, Which vision for your life? So I, I want to own like a couple of salons, you know, I have a lot of branches under my name and mm -hmm. just build an empire that has to do with beauty, like my actual passion. Because funny enough, my career is not really my passion. So I, I still want to do it. I still want to keep to makeup and just... Okay, when you mean your career, it's not your passion. You mean what, DJing or contact? Like, yeah, contact DJing. Influence? So why, I mean, you, why then DJ. why are you a DJ then if it's not your passion? Um, I mean I think I can be whoever I wanna be. Um, so I wanted that because at that time I was just an influencer, and I wasn't doing much with my life. So yeah, I was like, yeah, let me try something, and I did it, and it's working. But do I want to have it forever? I don't think so. So you don't think DJ is your passion at all? N no. You know, there's a conversation that's happening on social media. Like, mm -hmm. guys feel like um, content creators, girls that have a lot of followers just become DJs mm -hmm. so they can just, like, have another revenue of uh, income. Mm -hmm. Is that is, is is that really the true reflection? Um, a funny thing is with me, with me it's not because uh, I never really even sat down and imagined myself being on decks. I felt like that was, like, hard labor. And, like, my brother to my surprise, is the one that actually just paid all the money that needed to be paid for me to practice being a DJ and he just gave me for my birthday and I just wanted to start and I enjoyed it. So I guess I, I just did it. What music do you DJ? Uh, I'm a piano. You said you're a hip-hop girl. I'm a hip-hop girl. My nigga, I can rap any Casper song right now, okay? From like uh, zero... Go, go no, like, I can't hear we here said now, for interviews. Go. I said I can, <laughs> okay. but I wouldn't want to... 
But okay. yeah, yeah. So I became a DJ because, you know, I think my brother really had a vision for me. He just always wanted me to be very busy with my life. And he saw that, okay, being an influencer because of the scenes and because of all these things happening, I really can't be like brand working right now. And I can't be, I can't be working with brands. So he, he tried something else for me and I'm really grateful for that actually. Okay. Yeah. And I enjoy it honestly, but it's not a passion. Like I love it. I, I can DJ. I'm doing great for myself. You know, I love people looking at me and smiling because I think even if I wasn't a DJ, I wouldn't know people like me the way I see right now. But yeah, in the future, five years from now, child, I have a different vision. From you DJing? Yeah. Okay, so this is not a long term. Mm -mm. It really feels a bit sad that not only other DJs that are passionate and they're good at this, but also artists all in all, they can have the craziest talent but no exposure. And when we come and when we look sexy and when we look good, it doesn't happen. I could trend for the dumb. Last I was trending over a chicken, my chicken that I cooked. And I'm like, someone just dropped yesterday. Why can't people focus on that? Like, I really don't know why. Why were you trending over a chicken? Oh, they said I can cook chicken. Didn't you see that? No. I'm not on social media much. Yeah? No, you're the investigator, remember? No, I'm not the investigator. It was actually uh, yeah. <laughs> on articles yeah. saying I can't cook chicken. It's red. So you can't cook? I think I can. Okay. You know? and But I'm no longer doing cooking videos, but I think I can. But I really feel... We're going to have like an after like um, <laughs> review. Like, see, you're going to cook me chicken. And I mean, if you go with me home... We can. Yeah, yeah, okay. I can cook. That's the point. To cook, why are you posting? Are you have any? You have any things in mind? Other things in mind? Do you no, have other I things? don't. Okay, I'm, then. <laughs> I'm a good boy. So, but like, I really feel bad most of the time, Shem, for other people that actually deserve the exposure. Like, I don't know. Like, for other DJs, I think they can be whatever they want to be. And I think actually in the industry, it's just now that females are becoming like DJs. But they should also remember that there was a phase also where. Males were just DJs at once. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's fair. I mean, they're living their life. They're not... Are they, are they affecting any, any of you guys? No. Yeah, so then let what, them be. What is the ultimate goal for uh, CN? Like, when you look at yourself in, like, five years, ten years, what do you want to achieve out of this whole industry? I just... I want to achieve a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. And I think... Even now, I haven't, like, planned out everything that I would like to achieve. I think there's more to what I would like to achieve. But like I said, like, I really want to build an empire for myself. Okay. I want to have a brand, you know, not only, like, the social brand, but also bring a, bring a brand outside of that because I figured that a lot of people like my fashion, a lot of people like my products that I use, like, a lot of questions I get, like, where did you get that shoe? Where did you do your eyeliner from? And I can use that to make a brand out of it. And, yeah, I really have a crazy vision, but most importantly, I want to be a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> and stay home she says most importantly yeah, why I mean, is that important to you because, I mean I wouldn't want to do the hard labor I just want to chill and call my PA like hey did you check like the salons in Ocean Mall and Cape Town in Dubai mm -hmm. are they great mm -hmm. yes shop. then I just make babies with the guy so your 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 goal in life is to don't put no, it I'm like just, I, just wanna, I just want to get an understanding <laughs> I'm here to understand you I, today. But I did say I want to build an empire. Okay. But outside of that, like, I really want to have a brand that is mine, that I own, that would be so big that I'm capable of bring, bring, uh, building other branches. Mm -hmm. you, you get that, I right? I feel you. And then besides that, yeah. you see, we spoke about the good side. Yeah. I need a take. Besides that. I've been running six right now. Sorry, I haven't been counting. But besides that. I got that, you, girl. Run six. Yeah, yeah but besides that, I, yeah. I just want to chill home and be a housewife. And have babies. And have babies. Okay. How many babies would you like to have? I really just want one. I know, right? I, I actually want one baby. Okay. But make babies and maybe, like, I can drink the babies. You can what? I mean, if you get me, you get me, bro. <laughs> uh, guys, yeah. baby up. Like, you can uh, drink the babies. Oh, uh, woman, you see how you changed this person? No, I just, I just want to understand. Like, 
listen, guys. Um, the main reason why I also wanted <laughs> you to have you here, I, I want to understand you because I don't, I don't believe in judging people from face value in anything in life. Mm -hmm. I, I just believe I in just like speaking that. to people mm -hmm. and just getting to understand them holistically. You know? Well, that was a joke, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, like, swallow. I can do that as an activity while being the housewife, but with one kid. But there's so many kids involved, but you don't see them. It's just one that I'm taking to school and back. Do you get it? If you don't get it, forget about it, bro. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm trying to like clean up your brain. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's chillax. But do you think the people that own big brands would get me? Yes, completely. And they like, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I want you I'm to get sorry. the brands. No, oh, okay. I appreciate I, that. I, 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 I want people to look at you in a different light. You know, mm -hmm. and I, I, I just don't believe why. It's like I, you're so young, you know, and I, I really believe like with you being so young, I've watched like certain content of yours. You see, like you have like a lot of potential, like to be like a great woman in this space. Because I'm like, I, I watch your videos. You're very entertaining. Um, you're humor. You're like very funny in your videos too. And you're very real. I think that's why a lot of people gravitate to you. I was making an example like um, why Andrew Tate is a guy that he is right now, is Andrew Tate gets on camera and says a lot of things that guys feel and they are afraid to say it oh, okay. on camera and mm -hmm. a lot of people gravitate to him. And um, not that you guys are similar, but you have traits that you guys both have where you would say a lot of things that a lot of females are afraid to say on camera. And then why you would have a following like you do have is they gravitate to certain things that you say because they feel the same way, but they are afraid to express mm. it on camera. Uh, so you, hence, hence they use the memes and all that to like just put it as if they feel like that, but I'm the one on the meme. I don't want people just to gravitate on the negativity when it comes mm. to your name. Yeah. Because I see a lot of positive in you and I see a lot of potential in you. Mm. And I want you to harness the positive things about you and, and, and embrace them because... Just as much as you're saying, like, you have the clout, you have the following, but the brands are not coming. I want to see the brands coming to see it. But wait, yeah. I, I, let me put it like this. Yeah. I don't have an ego, I promise. No, I, look, there's girls that look up to you. Whether we like it or not, you didn't choose to be a role model. But there's girls that want to be in your position. Yeah. But I want you to also realize that you have a certain responsibility now. Now that you've made it mm. into where you are right now, mm -hmm. you have a certain responsibility because there's people looking at you as a role model. I know you didn't choose to be a role model. I know you didn't choose to. Mm -hmm. But there's girls that want to be in your position. So I have to like think of them when I make any decision no, from now on? No, I, I just want you to think of you in a broader picture. Because okay. I don't want you to make um, short-term decisions you know, on something that's long term. Okay. You know, I I want you to think about the future mm -hmm. of of seeing like, okay, this is gonna bring me clout. This is gonna like trend for this week. But how is that gonna affect me in five years? Wow. Okay. I want you to think like 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 just not just for now, mm. just because you really do have a lot of potential. Whether people like it or not, there's a reason why you're in the position that you're in right now. There's a lot of girls that can trend. There's a lot of girls, uh, um, but unfortunately, they're not in your position. You are the one chosen to be in that position. So it's up to you what you do with the influence that you have. It's up to you to do with the followers that you have. It's up to you to decide how your future turns out. And you are gifted. You are gifted that. So it's up to you how you want your life to turn out. Okay. You know, I see you're a smart girl. You're very expressive. I told you, you're very articulate. And I feel like it's endless with you and like sky's the limit with you. And it's just how you, I can see you on a reality show, literally. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I can, you've experienced everything within life at such a young age. And sometimes making mistakes gives you wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of people don't get wisdom and, until you make those mistakes where you know like, oh man, I was not supposed to do that. Yeah. But it's made you wiser. I mean, we are speaking, having a conversation and you're like, yo, you used to want guys that um, just can just pay your bills and everything else. Mm. But now you're also looking for a deeper connection with guys. Mm. And you can only get to that place after you experience yeah. all the other things. Mm. So I just know in life, 
as as people, we are always quick to judge each other, especially in this um, social media space. You know what I'm saying? And none of us are God. We can never judge each other and say this person is like this or this person is like that. So I I just believe in like, um, if someone has the potential, if I see something like specifically with me, I didn't know you that well. Like I said, it's the very first time I meet you. Um, but I did notice besides the negative things that have been trending, I did realize certain things that I saw in you that were positive. And I want you to carry that with you and and and, and harness that to something even greater and yeah. something bigger. Because I can see you having your reality show. We need mm -hmm. we need you're like very entertaining. Why doesn't like the CN have a, like a, a a reality show? You're very entertaining. Thank you so much. So please promise me that. You're going to stop the antics. You're going to stop trending. And we're going to work on that reality show. But trending is not bad. We can trend. Okay, okay. Let's, let's, okay. But, it, but we'll trend in a, in a fine way. Let's it's, trend it's in a fine positive. way. Yeah, let, let, me, let me keep away from people. I won't be trending. Okay. I'll be good, okay? Yeah. I promise. You promise? Yeah. People are watching. Can we make a promise live on this podcast <laughs> that you're not going to trend for nothing negative? I will. I promise. People I are going to come back to this podcast if she does. What's going on? Pinky. Yeah, let's pinky promise. <laughs> okay. I want, you to, I, I want you to say this pinky promise, what this promise is about. This promise is that I will never trend in a negative way. Mm -hmm. And I will never be in any bad scenario with anyone. And I will just like wait, carry wait, wait, wait. the positive before, wait, things. Before you say this, you have to mean what you're saying. I mean it. Okay, let's go. I mean it. Okay, cool. Let's go. Yeah, for real. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And I won't be in drama with people. Okay. And I'm not here to judge you. I'm just, I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I see potential in you and, um, you're also young. So, so yeah. let's say, let's say, um, a, a big influencer comes to me and says, oh, "Oh my gosh, okay, we're chilling. Um, I get to spend more because I really love spending, and that probably affects her." And she's like, "What do you mean you love spending?" I just, I just love spending on things like my own things, and she's around, right? I'm making a scene. Okay. Let's say she's around, and then she pokes me, and she's like. Yeah, why didn't you shave? So I, I have to like be, wait, wait. Be back to the shaving, okay. Okay, <laughs> let's make another example okay. and be like, oh, from the accident, like, oh, she's a sacrificer, she's evil. Maybe she makes that comment. Like, like I'm, 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 I'm still young to react the way I react, don't exactly. you think? Exactly, that's why So, I, but like now I have to think of the brand and, and not like how I actually feel. Like, what if I just want to, do I have to walk away? Yeah, I, like feel, I, walk I away. Yes, I do think you need to think about your brand. I do. And the reason why I actually don't... I to walk listen, away. Let me tell you, can I tell you the reason why I actually don't judge you in any of these like, situations? Like, do you walk away when someone pokes you? Yeah, I've learned to. I, before You've I was involved, to. a lot of people know my history. I was involved in like, you know what I'm saying, other altercations. But mm. I haven't been involved in a very long time because okay. I, I believe like I have to protect my brand. It's bigger than just that moment, that, that instant moment that I'm going to make. If it's not affect me in the long term, I'd rather not. Because I've I, I take myself serious as a brand. If mm -hmm. if whatever I'm gonna do is gonna affect me in the long term for me getting a bag, for me feeding my kids, I'm gonna think about the situation and not act stupidly in that moment. But at that moment you don't think. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the reason, like I said, I'd never judge you for anything that you've been through. You are young. And you, you obviously have to learn. I can't expect you just to know everything from the jump. You know what I'm saying? That's why I can never say you are wrong. And it's, yes, I might not agree with it m myself, but I still believe that you as a person, you're going to have to live life and go through it yourself for you to learn. That's why I even always say on the show, mistakes builds wisdom. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm not saying be perfect. I'm not saying be fake. I'm not saying don't be yourself. But I'm just saying next time something happens, think about the brand, CN. Because you're already in the door now. You have a lot of following. You're already in the door. Everyone knows your name. You can actually decide where you go with your brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's take an example. Unfortunately, I don't want to use her, but uh, we have to use her. Let's say a Kim Kardashian, right? She had a sex tape that she didn't put out herself, whether, I don't know, people said her mother put it out, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that. But what she did with her brand, 
is amazing. She yeah. she she built a makeup brand. She mm. built um, the reality show. Mm. So even for you, sky is a limit. Yeah. So okay. it's about what you do with it. It's like uh, next time you need to think. Okay, am I gonna smack this girl? That's gonna affect my brand. Or am I gonna move forward and be able to secure my life for the future? I just want you to think like okay. about your repercussions mm -hmm. of maybe how you might act in a situation. And yeah. like I said, I don't want to become judgmental or speak. I'm a God. I make a lot of mistakes myself. Mm -hmm. But I, I like I like I said, I've, I've been telling you, I see a lot of potential in you, like great things Thank that you can you. do. And I also want you to like think positively on the things that you can do with your life and think about the little mistakes. And especially because you're mm -hmm. young. I think the older guys like me in the industry need to maybe give you guidance on certain things mm -hmm. that maybe that you shouldn't be entertaining that you are above. We are above certain things now. Like, you remember when you say certain people speaking to you a certain way, they don't deserve your attention? Mm -hmm. So you are above a lot of this nonsense that's happening right now. Okay. You are booked until February. And you're not booked in February for a mistake. It's because people really see some value in you. So I want you to also see value in yourself. No, but I never mind thinking. I actually want you to see value in yeah, yourself. Yeah, for sure. Please, you've yeah. made the, she's 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 you've made the promises, and I want you to keep them up. Like I don't want I don't want you to come here so we can just get some clickbait stuff. I just wanted to have a real conversation with you, um, because I I I really believe that you could like. Literally, like we 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 living in a society now where we just quick to um, judge people and just like put them in a certain manner and cancel people and whatever. I don't believe in cancel culture. I don't believe in like none of us are God and none of us can say we're perfect. We all make mistakes. Yeah. And especially when we were young, if everyone was following every single person that comments on Twitter on Instagram when they were young, yo, there'll be a lot of skeletons. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I I just want to see a CN that's just like that's evaluate that's elevated mm, in life. Mm. You know Thank that you. is just more than just like a sex tape or mm. your beefs with certain people oh, yeah. and accidents mm -hmm. and everything else. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Um. You said your passion is not DJing. You said your passion is makeup beauty. 100% beauty, teaching people how to do their faces, skincare, how to smell good, look good. I'm really, really into that. I love that. Yeah. I yeah. Think, so, what, like, I think you can have, like, a, a dope makeup line. Why? Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. I can. But I made a promise, uh -huh. and we're going to keep to the promise, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, see, and, like, I've learned not to believe everything that I see on social media. Um there was a story that came out, like, I don't know, most recently. And I would like, and I think I know the answer to it, but I want you to clear it up since I'm on your side. I'm team, I'm team Simon <laughs> Bush. Oh, uh, shout out. Yeah, so there was like something that said, you stole an iPhone 13. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that seemed like a ridiculous story for me. Uh -huh. I would like for you to clear that up. Well, I didn't steal. I took confidently so. Uh, yeah, I did take it. I still have it. And I'm selling it. But it's not an iPhone 13. It's an iPhone 7. That uh, person lied. You won't buy a 13. <laughs> it is an iPhone 7. Um, yeah, it was just like a friend, like an actually really good friend of mine. Um, he had taken me for a gig. It's a guy. Uh, he had taken me for a gig with my team because we were not going as far that time so I was like who wants to go who wants to go with me to a gig because it's just like a quick gig and we're coming back so yeah we went to the gig uh I bought a very sp expensive bottle um but that was just for me like I really just wanted to because the promoter they just asked me to buy like a bottle you know mm. so I really didn't think like he would have a different perspective I thought we were just gonna stay at f as friends so when he um took me back home um I was drunk because I bought an expensive bottle who and took you back home the guy that took us from okay yeah 
So he's taking us back home now. And we're all drunk, honestly, and I'm sitting in front, and he was just all touchy-touchy. So I was sleeping, but my brother saw. So I just wake up, and everyone is fighting outside, and the bottle is broken, and he's like, how much is this and all that? I mean, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to fight. I'm going to take his phone in front of him. I was open about it. I didn't steal. I took it. I was like, okay, when you're ready to pay this bottle, because it's worth your phone, you'll just pay it. So since I came to the bank detail, the police. They took you from your house. No, funny enough, I was at a gig. Um, and this guy, after we, he waited. The best thing is that the policemen waited. They waited for me to finish my set. They were listening so nicely. Mm -hmm. And um, this one that was... They were listening to what you said? Yeah. Okay. And then this one that wasn't wearing a, a uniform came to me. He's like, sisters, we are the police. You're under arrest. No drama. Let's just go. Take your bags up there. I will go take them for you. Whatever you want is okay. But all the police are waiting for you outside. And if you do anything wrong, we are embarrassing you. Are you okay, Shab? So practically nobody saw what happened. But this guy, it, it's so crazy because he then put out all the information. Nobody was going to find out. They were just literally waiting for me outside. And they just wanted the phone simply. And I made it clear that I'm not going to give you. I don't even care if you came like as a fucking crew. Like, you know. Um, yeah, I'm not giving you unless you pay for this. And then it was just that. Nothing but But I did take it. Because, <laughs> like, why would you then want to break things that are mine do you think it makes sense to you what like for someone sense? to taking... like yeah if you fight okay fine my brother caught you touching me i should be mad at that already mm -hmm. and now you already like just making things worse by breaking our stuff and all that and he just left us by the robots just by the way that's crazy 4 a.m by mall of africa they by the highway yeah he just left us there he didn't even fight over the phone. He just came with the police. and But when I took it, I was confident enough. I knew that something like this would happen, so I have to deal with it differently. Eh. So, yeah, then I find out that there's people outside courts because I, I was bailed out. I obviously bailed myself out. I can't be sleeping in there. But then eh, when I wake up, it's all over. Like, do you know what I mean when I say? And funny enough, I was at a funeral. My friends, I went to my friend's uh, boyfriend's funeral. And this lady was just like, eh, where's the iPhone 13? And I was like, nah, something is up. Check number one on Twitter. I'm like, ah, it's a lifestyle. Let's move on. <laughs> so it was so random. Yo, that was the most random shit. Mm. Yeah, like I, I, I didn't take it because I'm broke. Nah, mm. like I took it confidently. So if like, there's a number on my bio. It's my manager's. So you still have the vote? Confidently so. Is a case dropped? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah, it's 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 South Africa. What's this supposed to <laughs> Nah, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Can we move on? <laughs> Hello, when you want all the details, you make sure, hey. <laughs> yeah, you, know, you make sure. <laughs> I was trying to just understand the story because it just feel, it just felt bizarre. Like yeah, it was weird. And I was like, okay, I, at this point, I can't be addressing these things. You know, I'm, let's move on. If you think I stole it, shout out. If you think I don't, shout out. Shut up. Content continues, work continues, and it did. <laughs> Is there anything else... Um, that you think maybe that's out in the public, that you feel maybe the story is put out, but it's not quite accurate or factual, that maybe you would like to clear up if there is? Oh, the only thing I want to address mm -hmm. is that, honey, I definitely don't have a budged body. I'm sexy as fuck. Okay. Uh, who said you had a budged body? All of them. Actually, ask them there. It is rumors that you, you have a BBL. Is this true? Yeah, I do have a BBL. Okay. Yeah, so immediately after the um, the pictures were taken out, yo, there were a lot of things that uh, were for, said. For people that, that watch this podcast, I know there's a very few that don't know what a BBL is. Maybe this this just be like maybe accommodative to everybody. What is a BBL? It's a Brazilian butt lift. So um, mm -hmm. you just take out fat from wherever you want. It can be your hands, thighs, yeah. wherever, eyes. I'm kidding. But um, <laughs> they just put it in the ass. 
<laughs> so you took fat from your eyes and put it in your eyes. I'm yeah? joking. Yeah. Yo, you want you want them to come for me now? Ew, I will be trending, my man. Let's yeah. leave it. But um, yeah, they just put it in the part you that you that you want to be curvy. Why did nice. you want a BBL? Yo, my body looked like a stick. I I really really was bullied mm-hmm. when I was young. Yo, mm-hmm. like it it was bad. Like no guy really. So me like that, like I wasn't like a girl that was in relationships because I was always bullied by girls and the guys would just see that and yeah. For heaven's sake, I couldn't even wear like a a, a pants. You okay. know, when you wear a skirt, it, it doesn't show the full yeah, shape. Eyes, yeah. But when you wear like, it shows her. Oh shit, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It shows her. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I was, I was bullied a lot. For my body, yo. Yeah. So I really wanted to change it so I'm more confident. And yeah. I really am confident right now. Like, it really did change me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm good. For people maybe that might be also um, not knowing this world of BBLs, how much does a BBL cost? I think Pange wants a BBL. So how much does a BBL cost? Oh, it's like... Man, like... It's crazy money, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let Pange know. He's a male, by the way, so you can explain like how much, like how much is it BBL? It's like one fifty k. It costs one fifty k. Yeah. BBL. Is this one procedure? Yeah. Like same time. Where did you get this BBL? Um, I don't, I don't want to give the lady the credit anymore. I think mm-hmm. I've really switched because a lot of things happened after my BBL and my body and I wasn't happy about it. And it doesn't happen to other people, so I'm not giving her credit. But I did a BBL in PTA. Um, when you mean a lot of things happen, what do you mean? I just don't want to talk about it. I also, like, as, as much as, like... Obviously- it's just going to be bad for her brand. And I don't want to be ruining people's brands. I don't want to be hurting people. Okay, I don't want to be damaging people. It's okay. It happened. I forgave her. It's fine. But just people have to be careful of, of the consequences, you know, that they put themselves into because, it's yeah, it's not pop in place. It's re- you, you, you can die. From having a BPL. Yeah. So you are saying it's dangerous for females to have a BBL? It is. Did you see, do you know DC Youngfly? Yes, I know his wife died. wife died. I know I saw the wife die exactly. because of the BBL. Yeah. Because of the BBL and that was very traumatic. And I was so happy that at least I'm done with it I'm an, and I'm alive. Thank you, Jesus. But, <laughs> oh, it's just, yeah. it's risky. But, I mean, you feel good after it. I don't want to lie. Mm-hmm. I think people shouldn't even be entertaining us. Like, men shouldn't even be talking about BBLs. Like, you should be focusing on your own shit, okay? Like, mm-hmm. your own work. Leave us alone. If we budged, it's fine. Because mm-hmm. we can't go back. Unless you want to give us money if you feel like we budged. Give us money so we get unbudged. Yeah, let's also opinions. explain that to our audience. What's budged? Budged is looking like a uh, fridge. That's the easiest way to explain. Your shoulders are the same as your... Hips, mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. And if I'm bum bum bum, it's a rugby player, and it's actually a flex <laughs> that they call me a rugby player because we won. <laughs> World Cup, my man. That's a flex. <laughs> you know, I feel good. <laughs> I love your confidence. <laughs> Like imagine someone uh, calling you a rugby player. Who does that? Yeah. Oh, right. So you actually sat down and thought, okay, what could she look like? A basket or a oh, rugby player? Yeah. You have... I, I feel like all the hate I get is a reflection of love. I'm so sorry. It's a reflection of love. Mm-hmm. People actually love me. And I love you too, darling. But yeah, you don't have to like always make sure that I am broken. Mm. It, it doesn't have to be like this but South that. Africans are really focused on that you yeah, know? negativity social media is what the, you, like know, social, mm. you can make the craziest transition as a DJ mm-hmm. it will have 10k likes when I hear a mistake Uri, I don't know what mm. but something about family relationship people in one mistake it's up there on Twitter. Why do you think people are so fascinated with negativity? Because they don't love themselves enough. I, I, I genuinely, not has said this. He's, I saw that podcast too. I don't like him, but I saw that podcast. I definitely Which don't podcast? like him. Which podcast? Me and oh, Nota? Yeah, with, yeah, with okay. you and Nota. He said that literally, if, okay, let me put it in a proper way. Nota likes you, by the way. Carry on. Yeah. But I don't. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And 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 it's because of one thing though. He he had posted about me in a negative way. Also, like I'm I'm involving him when I say haters. Mm-hmm. I feel like no person that is fully successful, doing well in life, don't have any insecurities, mm-hmm. 
I don't think they will go an extra mile to go on Bonang's post or I don't know whoever's post and say something negative boldly. Mm-hmm. It's always someone that really wants to fill up a void. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's someone that's insecure about their own self. Give us all of another topic comment on Muna. Who check the page? Someone like I wait for Mutum Pilapuna guy. I wait to Taka Taka. So I feel like. Anyone that has any negative thing to say is because they are not doing well themselves. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. if you're doing so great, you would never have, you you would always see the good in someone because you know the struggles, you know what got you here mm-hmm. and you wouldn't judge that person. Mm-hmm. They don't know what we've been through. Mm. They don't know. They don't know what I go through behind closed doors. Mm. People just see me as that girl that comes back and say, yeah, I did you that's all trend that again. You don't know how many times I've cried. You don't mm. know how many times I might have tried to actually attempt to kill myself because mm. of the negativity that I get. Mm. They don't care. Mm. They just want you dead because mm. they can't get up to you and look like you and be you and be the talk of town. They can't do that. Mm. Yeah. So it's always a reflection of love, but also a reflection of their insecurities. I agree with you completely. Yeah. Um, that's why I even said to you, like, before we even got into this thing, like, I saw a lot of potential in you and I saw a lot of positive things in you besides the negativity that we see. And yeah. I think also being in the industry, you understand a lot of people go through a lot of things that maybe so- certain people might not be, be privy to. You know what I'm saying? And for you to keep it pushing um, for this long, um, for me, then it brings me to, like, what what do you envision for yourself, as and Bougie? We spoke it like like what is next? What do you want to do next? I'm not even talking about the next ten years or whatever. I'm saying like next. Where do you want to transition to? I really want to transition into a ladylike woman, mm-hmm. not the bougie side of me. I really just want to be in a good space mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. I want to rebuild my relationship with God. I just want to see the good in people and not let all the negativity change my perspective of life. Because when I used to listen to all the negativity, I was living in a dark world. Mm. I really felt like I'm really like this and I'm really bad. And I look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like a bad person. And I feel like I'm just like at my worst. Mm. I never want to feel like that. Mm. I want to be so good. And I feel like anyone that's in a good mind and good position develops so many great ideas for themselves. Mm. And that's what I want to do. That's what I, that's what I want to be for myself, like mm. for my own self to 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 show that I value myself and I love mm-hmm. myself enough. Mm-hmm. I just want to stop. Mm-hmm. I did stop. I did take a few steps back. And now I just want to come back and show like a different view mm-hmm. of myself. And I understand that a lot of people could have followed me for being bougie and all that. And somehow it might lag because now I'm like this cute little girl that doesn't even care about the drama. Mm-hmm. But is it going to help me mentally? It is. Is it going to help me for vision wise for me to probably like invent and still use this opportunity of followers and all that? Mm-hmm. It will. And I really want to do that for myself. I really want to be in a good space right now. And I've really been and I want it to be like that and even way better. I love that, man. Um, and I think, like, with what you just said right now, I think whoever's just going to be in your page for the drama, do not concentrate on them regardless. Those are people that are going to be loyal behind. If everyone is just your supporter, they want to see you doing good regardless. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't want to be, they don't want to see you in drama yeah. if they truly are your supporters. Mm. So um, I'm glad you're on this journey to try to find God. I'm glad you're on this journey to try to be a better person. And that's what I love to hear. And mm. um, Anna, thank you for coming. And I'm so glad that um, I see growth in you. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, we all need to be patient with your growth. You are still maybe going to make mistakes here and there. Mm-hmm. But as long as you are willing and as long as you want to, you, you see a better life for yourself, um, I support that. Uh, you're still young and you're still going to make mistakes. And I feel like everybody on social media stop being God and let the girl transition and make the mistakes and have growth. Like what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you for coming to the podcast thank and you um, sharing your stories. Mm-hmm. Um, you're, actually, you're actually a cool girl because I just met you for the first time mm-hmm. um, today. 
Shout out to Samsung um, for letting us record in this beautiful space uh, design coda. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's looking real fly. Um, before you leave, I, I, mean, I can't let a lady leave without something. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, if, 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 uh, thank you, Pange. This is a guy I told you that had a BBL. Oh. So, <laughs> First of all, um, we got the new merch. Uh, El Tito podcast got the new merch popping in the streets. Um, Nessie C and Casper uh, were the first ones to get. You were like the third person to get this merch. I'm the first lady. You're the first lady. <laughs> I feel special. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> the merch is not sold yet, but I'm going to hit you guys up and tell you and hit you with the info where you can get the merch. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then um, you rock sneakers, right? Yeah, definitely. I'm a sneaker okay. girl. Okay. You're a sneakerhead? Mm -hmm. This, I, I, I'm sure I'll, I'll clean your sneaker at the end. end yeah, get it? No. Okay, cool. This, <laughs> whoever cleans your sneakers, this is like what you need. This is the freshest um, sneaker um, cleaning product mm -hmm. in the game. Okay. Uh, it's called Crep. Okay. It's the fly. It's all the freshest niggas. We are the freshest podcast in the world, so we had to bring you the freshest product in the Thank world. Thank you so much. Shout out to Crep uh, Protect. <laughs> Shout out to Crep Protect. Um, El Tito Podcast. This is an 11th episode. Um, thank you for thank you guys for tuning in, showing us love, watching every single episode. Um, much love. And what do you want to say, Bange? Um, oh, this, I never say this on a podcast. I'm going to say it today. Please like and subscribe. This and is the Shea, very first and time. Shea. And share. Mm -hmm. You can and see she was Shea. a content creator. Okay. <laughs> and share. You know what I'm saying? Um, thank you, guys. Um, much love. El Tito. Bye, guys. Oh, and bye. also, please make sure you put my handles in your description box. Okay, I got you, girl. Yeah. What else you want? Um, I just want to let you guys know that I love you guys so much. Thank you for s all the support that I get all the time. And yeah, I don't have a line because I'm not a Betty anymore. I was going to be like, but it's fine. Let's move on. Bye. Bye, guys. We out. <laughs> 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 Damn.